Chair, we can't hear you. Not speak, your microphone's not on. I'll start again. Thank you very much. Having spent some time telling people how to turn their microphones on. Um, Let's check, get that right. Is that right? Yes. Can everybody hear me loud and clear? Yes. Good. Okay. Welcome to the Planning Committee, everybody. I'm Judith Smythe, Councillor and Chair of the Planning Committee. Please be assured that we have put appropriate cleansing, social distancing measures in place to ensure that this meeting is undertaken in a COVID secure manner. Limited public seating has been made available. However, this meeting is also being webcast to allow the public to attend remotely if they so wish. Please be advised that the public seating area is not in view of the camera um, used to webcast this meeting. So a bit of housekeeping, some safety information. If the continuous fire alarm sounds, please evacuate the room and public gallery by the stairwells. <clears throat> Don't attempt to use the lifts. Please assemble by Queen Victoria's statue in Guildhall Square. In order to comply with the Guildhall Trust Fire Marshal regulations, anyone who signed in at the Guildhall reception desk should sign out when leaving the building at the end of today's meeting. About the live web streaming, may I draw everyone's attention to the fact that this meeting will be live streamed. Everyone speaking via the microphone will be on camera, including those making deputations. Members of the press and public are also permitted to record the meeting on the understanding that it neither disrupts the meeting nor records those stating explicitly that they do not wish to be recorded. Please can everyone use the microphones, including myself, and remember to switch them off when they've finished. I'd like to now introduce um, the public to the members of the committee who are here, uh, and I'll start um, with Councillor John Smith. Good morning, Chair. Councillor John Smith, uh, Councillor for Eastney and Craneswater. And I've got to say, if you have any in interests to declare um, while you're introducing yourself, please do that at the same time. I have none. Councillor Russell. Um, Councillor Russell Simpson, Hillsy Ward. Hi, I'm Councillor Darren Sanders. I'm a Councillor for the Baffins Ward. I think I may have an interest to declare in the uh, World War II defence item. Um, I was a member. You of the served, North didn't you, Darren? At yes. <laughs> Same division as you, sir. Um, uh, I, I, I was a member of the Langston Harbour Board Planning Committee, which has uh, registered a zero objection to this. Um, I think, even though, I, I think that that means I probably can't determine this. Am I right? Were you involved in? the objection sorry the comments we all agreed to the response so okay, yes, yes we all so agreed to yes, the response um, so I'm out of here for yes. that one okay Correct. thank you for that George good morning chair councillor George Fielding central south sea ward nothing to declare thank you councillor Hugh Mason uh, St Jude Ward I have nothing to declare thank you uh, Councillor Robert New for Cotton Awards and nothing to declare, Chair. Thank you. Uh, Councillor General Van Chatson, Councillor for Milton, and um, Chair, I'm sorry, I've got uh, uh, people who put a meeting at one and at three in my diary, in my diary uh, uh, but I'll be back here for four o'clock onwards. Thank you. I'm Councillor Judith Smythe, and I have something to declare of a personal interest, which is the... Uh, sorry. Uh, Councillor Mark Jeffries and Thomas Ward, nothing to declare. Thank you. We have, um, I've, I've got something to declare, which is the application number six for 41 St. Vincent Road. And I am going to propose from the chair that we move that item to the end of the agenda so that I can uh, get out of here completely uh, and not come back. So um, is that all right with everybody? Chair, what we'd normally do, Chair, is because we've got members of the public here to speak on that one, is we try to do that one early so to not inconvenience those members of the public that are having to stay uh, till after... No, we don't. Number six? We don't. Uh, is that Tideways Tower Street? No. Okay, number my three, apology. Item number three. Item number three. Okay, if you've not got any members of the public, absolutely sensible. No. Chair, can I just check um, who, Councillor Jeffries, are you substituting for someone else? Councillor Atwell. 
Thank you. And um, as Councillor Atwell, who's the Vice Chair of this committee, is not here, I'd like to propose that Councillor Hugh Mason uh, takes the chair at that point and concludes the meeting for everybody. Can I have, we, as he's not a uh, Vice Chair, could I have a show of hands to see if you're all in agreement? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Councillor Mason. Good. So, um, so each agenda item that we deal with will be dealt with in the pro following order. First, we'll have the officer's planning application presentation. Uh, second, any deputations allowing up to 12 minutes total in favour and 12 minutes total in objection. Um, but that, those, that total of 12 minutes can't be 10 minutes for some person, 2 minutes for another. There's a maximum of 6 minutes for any individual. Um, I think you'll find in practice it's plenty of time. But, um, um, and we have a stopwatch um, which is being uh, operated. Have you got, okay. We are using a mobile for the stopwatch we had apparently doesn't work. Uh, but we are going to be fairly st st stiff about that without um, uh, you know, putting people off. But it, we do need to be fair, and that is what the regulations say. So thank you very much. Um, after the deputations have spoken, it's time for members' questions. And we then move on by agreement to comments, including proposals for a decision, which must be seconded. And then we move towards a decision. The, um, we'll deal with the deputation requests um, as we go through items, but we, I think we only have deputations for item one. Is that right, um, no, Simon? Two more items. And two more. Three items only have deputations coming. Welcome. 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 Good. So apologies for absence. We've, we've um, heard about Councillor Atwell's absence. Are there any other apologies? I've received one from Councillor Linda Symes. So, Councillor Atwell and Councillor Symes have apologies. Have we got a um, deputy for Councillor Symes? I don't think so. But we're all right. We are quorum. Thank you very much. Good. So I'm going to proceed to the agenda um, and to... Um, Chair, can we do the minutes from the last meeting before that's we go on? on the agenda, on? yes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got the minutes of the meeting held on 15th of June, page 7 to 18 of our papers. Um, I wasn't at that meeting. I have read the minutes. Somebody else will need to, um, to um, you'll all need to approve them, um, but we'll go through them page by page first. Um, page 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Do we have to get Councillor Atwell to sign these as he was in the chair, or do I sign them? Okay. We'll make sure they're signed appropriately in accordance with the regulations, but could I um, ask for your... Uh, approval, um, Councillor Jackson, Councillor Vernon Jackson. Happy to propose them. Happy to second. Thank you very much. Everybody else happy? So we've agreed the minutes. Thank you very much, and thank you. Recorded thanks for Chris Atwell for chairing the meeting for us all. Chair, before we get to the applications, c could I ask a question? I am conscious that we have a backlog. Um, and the advice I have is that we're meant to be doing 10 applications per meeting to try to reduce the backlog. Can I ask why we're only doing seven today? Because that then increases the backlog. A good question. Thank you very much. Um, Sam, could you uh, answer? Thank you, Councillor. It will, of course, depend on the actual items. Some may or may not take longer than others, but um, we do want to make maximum use of the time available. Um, a couple of items that we did intend to get to this committee uh, fell by the wayside for one reason or another, but um, we, we will try and maximise working hold on that for next time. So, Chair, uh, through you to Simon, but 
my understanding is that the, uh, the advice I've been given is if something coming to the committee, it's, there's a year's wait. If there is a year's wait, there must be three more applications that would have been ready to come here um, to be able to turn at this committee so that we can help clear the backlog. Can we make sure that we are doing what we can to clear the backlog? Because none of these things that on this agenda look to me as if they're hugely time-consuming. We're not going to spend three hours on a, on a single item, I doubt, and, and I'm, I'm, I think we should all be working to try to reduce the backlog if we possibly can. Uh, let me reassure you from the Chair that this is one of my um, objectives in being Chair of the Planning Committee, um, but I do understand it's a matter of staff resources and um, some other things, but I will keep on the case and I'm sure you all would support me in doing so. It's really vitally important that we reduce the backlog. Thank you. Right. Um, we don't have any reports of appeal decisions or anything like that today, which normally comes in at this stage of the um, agenda. Is there anything that you want to um, add to that? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, we'll do, move on, <coughs> on to item four, which is the planning application for 155 Oyster Quay. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask uh, Simon Turner to um, introduce the subject for us. There is a, uh, some notes on the SMAT that you need to refer to. Thank you, Chair. Just waiting for the slideshow to come up. Oh, is it the scarf? Is that what's missing? Does this one need to go in? I'm sorry, Chair. We uh, just need a connection. It's it's in, Alison. This is really from the benefit of people on the live stream. Bear with us a moment. We appear to be having some technical problems. Uh, Simon will not be the first person to struggle with PCC IT, uh, nor the last. It's a daily problem for us all. Um, despite the fact that I know that uh, the officers did rehearse this beforehand and seem to get the right slides up onto the screen, uh, it looks like it's going to take a little longer. Do we want to um, give them a break from watching them doing this difficult thing? We've all been in this position before and uh, reconvene in 10 minutes. Everybody agreed? Could you turn off the live stream, please, and put... Um...